Hello, hello, good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we can have addition of integers. Handa na ba kayong makinig sa ating pag-aaralan ngayon? Okay, let's start it. Ang integers ay mayroong positive at negative signs. Integers are whole numbers which consist of zero, positive, and negative integers. Zero is an integer neither positive or negative. Pag sinabi po nating positive integers, this can be written with or without positive sign. And negative integers is always written with a negative sign. Bago tayo magsimulang mag-add, I-familiarize muna natin kung ano yung tinatawag na positive integers, negative integers, at kung paano natin sila sinusulat. Positive 5, pwedeng isulat ng may plus, at saka pwede rin wala siyang plus sign, ay example ng positive integers. Ang negative 6 naman, ay example ng negative integers. Palagi po siyang may negative sign. Ang positive 5 at positive 6 ay halimbawa ng integers na may same sign. Pwede rin siyang negative 5 and negative 6. O ngayon, alam nyo na kung paano isulat at kung paano tawagin negative at positive integers with same sign. Puntahan naman natin ang different sign. Ibig sabihin, magkaibang integer sign. Plus at saka minus or negative and positive integers. Tingnan natin ang unang halimbawa. That is 7 and negative 3. Tingnan nyo po ang 7 Wala po siyang positive sign, pero ang positive po ang number na yan. Ang negative, kaya po siya nilagay sa close parenthesis kasi para ipakita sa inyong magkaiba ang kanilang symbol. Okay po ba? Okay, tingnan natin yung pangalawang example. We have 2 and 6. Anong klaseng integers ang 2? Tama. Negative kasi mayroon po siyang negative sign. What about 6? Tama. Positive kahit wala po nakikitang positive sign. What about the next number? We have positive 9 and negative 8. Different sign po ba? O mag same sign sila? Tama. Different sign kasi ang 9 ay positive, ang 8 ay negative. Now, let's go to the last number. We have here negative 4 and positive 1. It is also an example of integers having different sign. Now, I assume that you are ready to add integers. Pero bago po yun, isa-isahin muna natin ang rules ng numbers na may same sign. It could be positive to positive, negative to negative, and different sign, which is positive and negative, or negative and positive. Unahin muna natin ang rules ng same sign. Kapag ang integers ay may same sign, ang gagawin lang ay add the numbers 
and copy the sign. Napakadali, parang addition of numbers lang. Next, kapag naman different, subtract the bigger and smaller number, then copy the sign of the bigger number. Okay, let's try to have an exercises for that. Okay, for number one, we have 3 plus 6, 9. So the sign is positive. Then we have negative 9 plus negative 7. I-add lang daw ang parehong numero regardless of the sign. Then ilagay ang kanilang sum. Then copy the sign, the common sign. In this case, negative 7 and negative 9 is equals to negative 16. Okay? Okay, guys. I know that you are smart. You are now ready to answer the next exercises. I will give you two minutes to answer this. And your timer starts now. Did you get perfect score? O di ba, madali lang ang addition of integers having the same sign? Let's move on now to addition of integers having different sign. Kung kanina, sa same sign, tayo ay nag-add, this time, different sign, tayo ay magsosubtract. Subtract the bigger and smaller number just like a whole number. Then after that, copy the sign of the bigger number. Yun ang rules ng addition of integers having different sign. Let's try these exercises para lalo nyong mas maintindihan ang aking ipinapaliwanag. Our first number is negative 15 plus positive 5. O susulat lang daw ang bigger number, then subtract the smaller number, then yung kanyang difference, ayun ang ilalagay mo na doon sa sagot, pero lalagyan mo siya ng sign ng bigger number. In this case, we have 15 minus 5 equals 10, then... Ang symbol ng bigger number doon is negative, so negative 10. Klaro po ba kung paano nakuha ang tamang sagot? Let's try to move on to exercises number 2. We have here positive 8 plus negative 16. Ang rule, subtract lang po natin ang number regardless of the sign. So, we have 16 minus 8 
equals 8. Then, pwede na natin ilagay ang 8. Then, hanapin ang sign ng bigger number. Yun ang ikakabit natin doon sa sagot kanina. In this case, we have negative 8 ang ating final answer. May tanong pa po ba? Kung wala na, we are going to solve 5 more exercises. And I'm giving you 2 minutes to answer this. Then afterwards, we're going to check. We're going to find out kung na-perfect mo ang score. Kapag perfect ang score, meaning mas madali mong naintindihan ang ating lesson ngayon. Get ready now. You may answer on a piece of paper or you may answer it orally. Timer starts now. Congratulations kung ganon. Kung hindi ka naman tumama lahat, pwede mong ulitin ang video para lalo mo siyang mas maintindihan. Huwag din pong kalilimutan ang mag-like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Marami pong salamat at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sana po sa susunod kong lesson, which is subtraction of integers, ay nandyan pa rin po kayo. Bye-bye!